Welcome, welcome to Rhythms of the Goddess. I am Lisa Ware. I am your host for this beautiful next uh, little download. And I have been really just working a lot with this energy that's come in through the new moon. So I just want to share with you some techniques and tools that really work for me for bringing in the light and keeping my frequency up and not allowing other things to pull it down and to attach to me or to bring me out of that frequency. And so the frequency that I'm talking about is the frequency for our highest good. I call it the Christ consciousness or the angelic realm. And I've been studying a lot about the angels. So working as an angelic kind of intercessory is my path. And it's been something that's been kind of a hard pill to swallow because it's a big job. And it's something that I signed up as a sacred contract to do before I even entered this world. But it's becoming very, very, well, it is extremely clear. And that's why I'm here. And so there's a book called Earth Angels that appeared, one of those random things that just appeared on my bookshelf. And I swear it wasn't there before. And then all of a sudden it was there and right when I needed to read it. So talking about working with Archangel Michael, Uriel, Ariel, Gabriel, and there's many others. Metatron has been coming in a lot as well. And these angels are, are kind of like the overarching angels where they don't necessarily come into the earth realm because they are the higher archetypes, the bigger guides in the angelic realm. And my work is within the light. It is within working in the light of Christ and through the angels is how I channel my work. Um, you can easily get strayed off of a path of working in the light by thinking or believing or being shown something that's intriguing or curious and you follow down this really interesting rabbit hole, kind of like Alice in Wonderland. You're like, ooh, what's in that rabbit hole? And then you eat the cookie and you get really tiny and you're like, what the hell just happened? Why is everything so distorted? What did I do? Oh, I ate that cookie. And these things can happen and it gets us really uh, way off track. I talked to y'all a little while ago about trajectory. And so right now it's super duper important to be just straight focused in. Your trajectory has to be 100% aligned with your source. And so a lot of light workers call it sourcing. And sourcing is something that we do every single day, every moment of every day, even sometimes, just to keep us totally lined up and tracked in. And if you think about something as, uh, well, my son, he's in the military. And he is, uh, his first job before he became a nuclear engineer operator was a fireman and not a firefighter, but they were going to assign him to a place where he would create the trajectory of um, like, I guess, missiles or stuff like that. I don't know, which was not a fit for him. He didn't end up doing that. But think about the trajectory of something that important. And if it's off just one degree, it's not going to land on its target. So this is how we think about our life. So if we you don't have time to fuck around, okay? Um, you have to be on point, like on point. And if you have this trajectory that's lined up with source and then eep, you went over here and you're just, oh, I'm just gonna go over here for a few months. And then all of a sudden, 10 years goes by and you're like way over there. How did I get there? How am I so far off my path, right? So I'm talking to you today about how to stay in that complete frequency of the divine light in the protection of your archangels. And right now, more than ever, our grid of our planet is shifting. The ley lines of our planet have completely reassembled and it's just like sh it's shaking out and it's shifting everything out. There's tons of people crossing over. There are tons of people waking up and not knowing what the hell is happening. Um, people think they have vertigo. People think they have migraines. People think they have uh, Diseases, dis-ease. Dis-ease is simply a, a resonance of not being in the ease or in the flow. And that is, it doesn't manifest into our bodies until it's desperately trying to get our attention. And so if we are awake enough to realize that we're supposed to be on a path of healing or on a path of 
surrender, you know, to the flow and in divine operation with our, our source, our goodness, and utilizing the energy of the angels to keep ourselves in that frequency is so important. So um, I, I'm not sure where I was going with that. Anyway, just back on track with the frequency of staying in alignment. Let's just talk strictly about that. Um, on my Instagram a moment ago, I found this really awesome filter. It's this ginormous pyramid and it's like, woo, you know, the pyramid shape right now. And it's such a powerful shape to pull in energy. And so in our Reiki training, we learn as in the master training and in the level two trainings, when we're working with the symbols, we learn how to create a pyramid of energy. So um, I'll show you a really basic technique that I sent to, I was downloaded and sent to a bunch of my friends yesterday on Instagram. And it's just how to tap into the frequency. And so one of the main techniques used as an angelic healer is the violet flame. And this is strictly moving through the white light of Christ. It pulls in this beautiful violet and white light. It kind of comes in like a DNA strand, like the Kadekas, you know, the medicine symbol, um, the Kundalini energy with the snake, right? This is all a very similar pattern. This is a pattern that we remember. It is something that we, it's ingrained in our body. We know what this feels like. We know when we're on, on point. We know when, when we're not. And so this gets us immediately snapped right back into place. And it also helps to call in the protection of our earth mother because we are very grounded. So another healing um, factor is to ground into the earth. So this takes on both of those and it's gonna be a quick meditation. So I would like for you to, if you're driving, not do this. And just, um, you know, you can listen, but don't tap into it because you will, uh, you can lift out of your body very easily. Um, so I'm going to ask you first to ground. And so sit on your chair, sit on your cushion, sit on the floor, sit on your yoga mat, and just ground. Down through the tailbone, deep, deep, deep into the earth. And I'm going to just scooch back a little bit here. So you can just kind of see me in my seated posture. We're, gonna, we're grounded into the earth and just relax the shoulders back and down. So you're gonna send out your energy from your root chakra and it's gonna come out like a little cone of energy. And root chakra energy is very grounded naturally. And so this is sometimes one of the easiest things you can do is just send that energy down, just like a, I mean, it's not, not triangular, it's, like a horn really and it just comes down and so you're not ever going to send your root chakra out of your body okay you're just tapping your energy from your root chakra which is right where the anus meets the perineum muscle that muscle right there you're going to contract and make pay attention to that muscle but you're not going to squeeze your butt you're not holding you're just paying attention to it like with 20 percent of your energy use your breath and then just send that energy down into the earth, okay? So begin to ground down into the earth and see that energy coming out in like a little cone shape. And then continue to descend that energy all the way down, deep, deep down into the very, very core of our planet. And this is a, that a beautiful energy of the earth, connecting to the energy of Panchamama. Now we're going to move up to the sacral chakra. And this is the, the meditation from the Earth Angel book that I was telling you about. Now this is a little bit different. You're going to take your sacral chakra energy. And again, it's kind of like a little horn, you know, like a little trumpet. It's um, spinning in all directions, but we are going to intentionally take the sacral chakra energy and go over the first cone and ground it down all the way to the very center of our Earth. Now it's, it might take a minute especially if you're not super grounded, to really feel tapped in. So you might have to pause this and just wait until you feel that connection. You will feel it. So take a moment here to breathe in. And then tap into that watery center right below your navel. Send that cone of energy around the root chakra down, 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 deep into the planet. And once you feel it connect deep, through the golden liquid magma all the way to the center of the earth and feel that connection. 
So you're just tapping in. It's like a magnet. It's going to like snap in once you get there. Okay. Next, we're moving up to the solar plexus, which is kind of where the ribs meet. This is Manipura Chakra. This energy center is about our personal power. If you've given your power away, call it back. And we're gonna call that power back in. We're gonna tap it down into the earth. Now again, you're gonna see it kind of like a flute or like the end of a um, saxophone, okay? And it's gonna go over the sacral chakra and the root chakra, little trumpets. So it's gonna make another little comb and send it down from the center of your rib cage. And we're gonna tap it straight down into the earth. It helps to put your hands flat on your lap and your feet flat on the floor and your tailbone flat on the, on the chair or completely sit, sitting into Sukhasana or Siddhasana on the ground. Breathe in. And then breathe out. And to see that cone of energy, I kind of see it like the, um, the petticoats of a, like an 1800s dress, you know, like those layers and it's just layering down and now it's just going and dropping through and it helps me to ground by seeing the bedrock and then seeing the ancient springs as you pass through it and then down through the titanium tectonic plates, the metals, the different types of rock and then down into the water, maybe through the ocean Keep going down until you hit the floor of the ocean and down, and then continue to go into the magma. And you're not there yet. You're going to continue to tap all the way in and just wrap a little knot, a little hook around the core of the planet. Now that you're tapped in from your lower three chakras, you're going to be easily able to do this work as a light worker. But a lot of us as light workers are just out of our body and you can't bring it in. You have to bring it in. You have to pull it into this dimension in order to do the work, in order to help others, in order to help yourself. And we have a body, we have to be grounded in it. That is our job. And so we're gonna do the same thing, but this time we're gonna send little radiations of light and sunlight energy from our heart. We're gonna feel it going out and it goes out wide, far, sometimes up to 20 miles and experienced uh, light workers and shamans and medicine people and ordained ministers, people that work from the heart center, people of service, usually have really big heart chakras. So you're gonna feel this radiant energy. It's very easy to see it going out from your body because it's very easy to give. But we're also gonna see it radiating in from our source and you're going to see it coming in and as it all comes into the very center of your heart chakra now you're going to just go down into the center of those little petticoats and go down through the sacral through the um, third chakra the second chakra and the first chakra and you're just going to send your heart centered energy and we're going to ground this now in light workers this is very easy because a lot of times you're very practiced in working with your heart center and we're just gonna snap right into Mother Earth. Tap it in, just wrap it up, grab a hold of her. She's got you. Then we're gonna move up to our throat chakra. Now again, if you didn't feel that connection and that kind of magnetic click where you really tapped in, keep doing it. Keep, just pause the video. Keep working until you feel it snap in because sometimes it's a struggle, especially if we're not grounded. It, I mean, the first time I did this meditation, it was difficult for me to even see past the, the top surface of the earth, like to even get in there, okay? And this is very real energetic. You're definitely able to send your energy, but you're, again, keeping your whole entire chakra system contained. You're just connecting it in. Moving up to the throat chakra. And if it helps you, you can also place your hands over that chakra to call more attention to it. And we are tapping in to the center of the earth. Again, we're going down, we're going in the middle through the heart chakra, down through the little cones of energy we've created through the third, second, and first chakra. And we're just going straight down. This is like a little tiny straw. Like here I have a metal straw from my water. And so it's just a little straw that just goes straight down into the center of our planet. I'm gonna breathe in. Sometimes it helps especially with the throat chakra since a lot of energy collects here and it's a very skinny area on our physical body. 
is also kind of a bottleneck of energy. So we're gonna breathe in through the mouth and then breathe out and ground. Travel down, 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 down. Feel this energy like a blue, soft light. Down through the lake of our solar plexus, through that protection of that cone of energy of our last bottom three chakras and deep down into the earth. Breathing in and out through the mouth, if that helps you to ground. And then allow that energy of your throat to attach down and wrap around the co core of our planet. Moving into the third eye and breath in and see the radiant white and purple light through the third eye. And it's just like a blank canvas, just a very simple blank canvas, nothing fancy here. And we're just simply taking that energy, holding and containing it in the third eye, the place between the center of our brows and the occipital bone right here at the base of the curvature of the neck between the ears. And feel that center illuminate like a bright purple and white light and pull it down so it's grounded. It's, the energy is staying in your head, but you're just attaching it. So it has a tether. And then continue to deepen that until you can envision moving down through the bedrock, through the sacral waters, sacred waters of our planet, through the plates of the earth, down through the magma and attach that third eye to the center of the planet. You may never have done that, especially if you do a lot of spiritual work. And that might be really new for you. It was for me. But we need the energy of our Mother Earth. We really need to tap into it. It's so important right now. And then lastly, the crown. So you're gonna connect to the energy of the crown of the head. It's kind of like a lotus flower, right? On top of the head, so just a beautiful lotus. You're gonna see it, it's a thousand petaled lotus. And you're gonna pay attention, just bring your attention to just a few inches above your head. Feel it illuminated in a white and diamond and opalescent light. And then we're gonna, again, tether that. Think about a lotus. It has a nice, beautiful root system that goes down into the muddy water. And we're gonna take and attach the crown down into the earth. Traveling down through the third eye in the center of those other trails. This is an easy trail to follow because we've already done it with the other chakras down through the throat, through the heart, and then in that protection of that cone of energy through the third chakra, Manipura, Svadhisthasana, and our root chakra, Muladhara, all the way down through the layers of the planet and connect your crown chakra to the earth. Yes, that might feel strange, but it feels really good. Again, if it takes you a minute, just pause the video and take your time to do that. And once you get there, we're gonna call in this earth energy like a bubble around us. So we're gonna just literally reach down to the ground, grab that bubble of energy, pull it up, out, and clap it together like an orange bubble. It might come in as orange, brown, um, ochre, like the color of red dirt. Um, so any of those earthy colors, you're gonna pull that up and around you and it's going to surround your whole entire energy body as far and as wide as it reaches you're going to attach it together so now you're fully protected and grounded and we're going to call in the angels of archangel michael uriel gabriel and ariel and i like to call in metatron to really sit at our root chakra and, and guard that first gate right there and then above, we're calling in the violet flame. So we're calling in the white light of Christ, Christ consciousness, the highest good, the agape love, the, the, the love of the universe, the bliss state, Ananda, ah, Ananda. Some people call Brahman, Atma. There's many, many names for this. And this is your divine source. You might hear me refer to it as Christ consciousness. That may not resonate with you at all. 
and throw it away if it doesn't, but we are tapping into that one source of pure divine light. And anything that does not resonate in this light, we ask you to leave. We don't need your help. No, thank you. You can take off. So we're protected in all directions. We're pulling in this beautiful love light straight from our divine source, Mother, Father, God, Goddess. And it's coming in as a beautiful violet and white light, just like it's a moving flame, it's a moving energy. It's going around like a DNA strand. And it even helps to take and make these figure eights around your body in all directions, sometimes really big, sometimes in the opposite direction. And as you focus on calling in this energy in this figure eight motion, we're literally weaving ourselves back into the grid of the universe. This is the same motion we do as we sew. It's a very natural motion. It's a very therapeutic motion. And so just making this weaving, try it with your less dominant hand and then try to maybe reverse it, which is a little trickier. And as you feel this violet flame coming in, it's, it's instant, it doesn't take long. I took a lot longer than it normally would take to let it come in because I was explaining it. But it is, as soon as you call it, bam, it's here. It is instant. And that is the protection we call in every single day. So now that you know the technique, you can literally do this in 10 seconds. And so I hope this has helped you. I would love to hear your comments as you practice this technique. It is extremely important to do this every single day. We need to stay totally tapped in, turned on, tuned in. And so I look forward to seeing how this is working for you. If you have some feedback, please comment on the comment below. And I look forward to seeing you next week on Rhythms of the Goddess. Namaste.